We are going to create forms and validation for text fields and these are special text fields with autocompletion. This autocomplete text fields shows then suggestions based on what the user is typing. If all fields were filled correctly and we click on the submit button, then we are finished with this form. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating our autocomplete text field for our cities. And after it, we also want to integrate the form and validation for these fields. Therefore, we want to get started with a simple button, which I have already created. And this has then the text submit. And if we later click on this button, then we want to do the validation of our text fields. And on top of this button, we want to build our autocomplete cities text field. And therefore I create here a new method. And inside of it, we want to put here this type ahead form field inside. And here inside, you need to define the type of your field. In our case, we have here normal strings. However, you also can put here objects inside. Also make sure if you use null safety that you put here this null operator inside. This is really important. And now we want to create our autocomplete text field in three simple steps. The first one is we want to load all of our suggestions. Secondly, we want to build our suggestions, which you see here in this pop-up. And thirdly, we also want to click one of these items and then we want to add it to our text field. Therefore, let's get started by loading all of our suggestions. And therefore you use here this callback suggestions. And here inside of this callback, we receive a string. And this is exactly the data which you later type here within your city field. And secondly, our callback needs to return a list of the type of string because we have supplied here a string in this case. And now we want to simply implement this callback. Therefore, I create here a new class and inside of it, we create a new get suggestions method. And now we want to create this method. Next to implementing the method, we also want to get here all of the data, which are our suggestions. And therefore I created here a new class city data and here inside we create a faker object. And with this faker object, we can then generate some cities, which are then later displayed as our suggestions. And in our case, we want to generate 20 cities. And therefore we use here this faker address and then he is generating for us a random city. And these generated cities are then later displayed here as our suggestions. And by the way, if you want to make use of this faker, then you need to go to your pubspec drama file. And here you need to add this faker under your dependencies inside. And secondly, you also can put here this flutter type ahead under your dependencies inside. And this is the package which we use here for displaying our type ahead form field. Now let's continue by building also this get suggestions method. Therefore, I go again to this class and here inside I create this get suggestions method. And here we get first of all the text field value. So again, this is a value which we type here in our city field. And secondly, we return here a list of strings, which are then our suggestions. And now we simply take here the cities list, which we have generated and we want to display them as suggestions. And therefore I simply create here a copy of this list. And we also want to make sure that we filter this list based on our query. So we only want to display all the cities, which also have the same name as our query. And therefore I simply put here the city name to lowercase letters and also our query to lowercase letters. And now we can basically compare both of them and we check here if the city lowercase letters contains our query, our text field value, which we have typed here inside. And if this condition here is fulfilled, then our city is included to the list, which we return here. And with this, we have completed the implementation of this method. And now we can go back to our page and we can continue with the other two simple steps. So first of all, we got the suggestions. Secondly, we want to display all of these suggestions. And thirdly, we want to click then on one item and do some functionality. Therefore, let's continue by also displaying all of these suggestions. And therefore I create here an item builder where we get each individual suggestions, which we want to display in a list tile. And within this text tile, we simply display then our suggestion. And to make our type ahead form field work, we also need to implement here this on suggestion selected. And this is every time called if we click then on one of these items. And if we click on this item, then we get here this item on which we have clicked. 
And with this we have already here our text field and I can click on it and you see that he is loading here us exactly all the cities which we have put here before inside within our suggestions and we have simply generated here all of these 20 cities. However, you can also load this data from your API or you can put here other data inside. And we also can try it out. So I basically can type here anything and you see that he is then displaying only the data, which is also part of the suggestions. If we now select here then this item, you see that nothing is happening and also the text is not going here inside of our text field. And this is what we want to change. And if we click here on this item, then we are going here inside of this callback and we get then this item on which we have clicked inside of this callback. And therefore we want to go right now to our state and we want to create here a text editing controller with which we then can control this text field. Secondly, we go back to our callback and here we simply access then this text editing controller text field and inside of this text field we put then the suggestions on which we have clicked inside. And lastly, to make this work, we also need to wire our text editing controller up with our form field. And therefore you have here this text field configuration and here inside you can put then your text editing controller inside. And now we can try it out. So I have here this item and I click on this item and you see that this text is then going inside of our text field. And this is because we have put our suggestion on which we have clicked inside of our text editing controller. Next, we also want to change our text field decoration and we also want to implement our validation. First of all, to implement our decoration, we go to our text field configuration and here you have this property decoration and here you can then set, for example, a label text and also this outline input border. And this looks then like this. So we have here this label at the top and this border around our text field. And now we can implement here our validation every time if we click here on the submit button, then we want to validate our text field. To achieve this, we simply go here to the top and here around our list view, we want to wrap then a form. And within this form, you need to include a form key. And therefore, we also need to include here this global key of the form state. And with this form widget and this form key, we can now validate our text form field. Therefore, we can go back to our text form field. And here inside, we can then include a validator, which is then validating our text field. And we want to check here that our value, which we have typed here is not empty. And if it is empty, then we want to display an error message, which says then, please select a city. And otherwise, if it is not empty, then everything is correct and we return here now for the successful case. And secondly, next to the implementation of this validator, we also need to implement this on saved. And this is later a method which we later call. And here we need to put then this value of our text field inside of a variable. And therefore we want to create here a selected city variable inside of our state. And this is then of a type of nullable because it can also be null. Next, we want to click on our submit button and then it should validate our fields. And in this case, the fields are empty and therefore we see here this error message every time. To implement this functionality, we need to go to our submit button because right now nothing is happening. And every time if you then click on this button, then we want to validate here this text field. And here inside, we want to access then our form key with which we can then do the validation of our form. And the form is simply working like this, that it simply looks at all the methods here below, which have implemented a validator method. And it is simply calling this method to validate our text field. Therefore, we can go back here to this on clicked handler and we can simply validate here our fields, which is then calling all of these validator methods in our form. And if all validators returned a null, which is the successful case, then we also go here inside and then we can basically call this save method, which we also have implemented. And this puts then the value of our text field and stores here in our state. And lastly, we want to show the selected city in our UI. And therefore we simply go here down and create a new snack bar. And inside of the snack bar, we want to display then our favorite city, which we have selected. And I simply put then here the selected city, which we have filled before inside of this unsaved callback and also put it to our UI. 
And now we can try it out. So I click here first time on the submit button and then you see here this error message, which is here defined. And this is because we have said if it is empty our field, then we want to display here this error message. However, if I put here at least one character inside and then I click here on submit, then you see that he is executing here this snack bar and is also showing it in our UI. And of course, we also can select here anything out of this list and also click on the submit button. And this is also working fine. We also want to create here our second food text form field where we can then select out of the suggestions our food. Therefore, I simply duplicate here this method which we have created before for our cities. And secondly, we also need to create within our state this text editing controller for food and also the selected food field. And therefore we simply create here in our state exactly this text editing controller and also this field where we put our selected food inside. And lastly, we also need to implement this get suggestions because we get here different suggestions this time for our food. And therefore I have created here a food data class. And here inside we use then again this faker object. And with this one, we can then generate our food. And secondly, we also want to implement this get suggestions method. And here based on the text field value, we want to display then our food. And therefore we want to take again our food list like before and we also want to filter it what we have learned before. And now we only need to go back to this page and here inside of our form, we want to build then here this food text field. Let's also try it out. I click here on the submit button and you see that it says please select a food. And now I simply need to select here any food and then I click on submit. Then he says, okay, I also need to select a city. Let's also do it. And lastly, we click on our submit button and it says then our favorite food is and our favorite city is. And this is also what I have included here in our snack bar so that we also display our favorite food. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.